You gonna get your spot on YouTube? Well, here we are with John back, and now I've just witnessed the uh, race of the day up against uh, John's race, Chris and Explicit, and uh, mate. After watching you for the last few years, um, trying to sort the boat with the handling and stuff, um, you must be pretty happy with how you've just gone today for the last two races. Yeah, yeah, look, it's been a battle. Um, you know, constantly I've had trouble getting out of the corners and so on, and um, I added two extra crab plates to try the boat and fixed it, and we're going quite good. And then um, we played the propeller in front of the crack in the keyway, so this is a new propeller on it today, which is the first time I've raced it. But, um, for some reason or other, we're losing all the oil out of it. So even in that race there, I had to um, back off in the corners and all the off. They didn't have to come back, so I thought it's only awkward to come on and hold on. So. Well. Good race. Yeah, it was a great race, and I see. I mean, we've obviously got Australia's best boats and best drivers here, you know, for the weekend, which is what an effort as well, just to get you know the best guys in the country in one spot. And seeing you turn up this morning, I was like, oh, here we go, another great boat. And you know, and I know I have, you know, you have had the issues with the handling, but mate, what a race and what a day! You, I mean, it's um, the boat's just looking as best it's ever gone, and uh, you're competitive and up the front, and um, yeah, it's just a really credit to you and your team, just to, to and, and perseverance too, obviously, and, yeah. and, and money, just yeah. to keep going and not give up and, and just stick with it. And it's um, it's it's looking like the rival of old. Yeah, look, and that's what kept me going. You know, like most of the races I've been in with all the guys, you know, like years and years ago, I've obviously raced them and whatever in the open boat, and then Crossy took over. And but what kept me going really is the company, the crew yeah. boys, um, the camaraderie in the, in the whole thing, um, going to different places yeah. I've never been here before. But the other thing was, um, I could I, I could actually catch him down the straight. I thought, well, if I couldn't catch him, and I couldn't get out of the corners, I thought, well, what, what's the point? So I thought, well, I've, I've got to improve getting out of the corners, and if I can do that, I reckon I can win some races, and we're almost there. Well, that's the thing, I suppose, with all the blown boats, everyone struggles getting out of the corners because you've got all that, you know, you're trying to get all that grunt down, and. You know, and obviously, you know, that's where the that's where the key is to winning races. And obviously, you won the Glen Maggie Cup last year. Congratulations! And um, you know, like it's and with racing, especially up against all these top drivers, it's you will make one little mistake and someone's in front of you. So obviously, it's just the least mistakes the better. And um, <laughs> which was probably the case of that race. We both were making mistakes, and I was watching out the window and thought, oh, he's in the air. And next thing, I'm in the air, and it was. Well, exciting. yeah, and Chris is, he's been working on that boat. Well, he's only just got that boat sitting good too out of the corner. So, you know, Chris has been running really well today as well. So, yeah, um, yeah it's just, uh, you know, you're up against it. I mean, this is uh, basically an Australian Championships, really, I suppose, without it really being an official one because yeah. you've got the best boats, the best drivers. So, um, and that's exactly why we're here. Yeah. You know, like, um, you know, down our way, we don't seem to attract some of the bigger boats down to Glen Maggie and so forth. And I want to run with the best because I want to see where I'm at, you know. And, um, you know, the six litres go really hard and you ain't going to make one little mistake and they're right on your heels too. But it's nice to run with the guys that are right up there, you know, like, um, you know, Brett Shepard's probably a benchmark and, and Chris Barmer and, you know, I, I can catch him. Well, the smile on your face is really telling the story itself, yeah, so, uh, yeah, you know, so you're a happy yeah. bloke here. And, um, yeah, and, and like you say, you are up there with the best and, like you say, you persevered with this boat and everybody knows the history of the boat and, yeah. and all that. And um, it's, it's finally... You know, after all that hard work, you, it's today. Honestly, I, I'm I've got going to put the race up on uh, Facebook later in the week, and it'll be the only real video of the race because uh, Glen uh, GP Hydro live streaming hasn't arrived yet, but they come in tomorrow. Oh, right. okay. So uh, working on it couldn't make it. So, oh, so yeah. So um, you know, it was, everyone's yelling from the from the bank and clapping. And it was uh, oh, yeah. what a race! And well, um, I think there's a bit of bit going on too there with you know everyone knows the six cylinder as, as they call it. You know, the red taxi. Yeah, I don't I don't want to call it that because I don't. I want to thank Chris, you know, yeah. he introduced himself back to, you know, probably seen him around but um, haven't really talked to him. And He's a great a bloke, yeah. yeah. nice fella. We had a little chat on the ramp there and he goes, oh, I think he got the speed on me but this thing's pretty nimble in the corners. And I was like, oh, well, it would be interesting. And it was, it was very interesting. So. Well, I was talking to Chris this morning and I said he's probably got the, the boat shape for the for the track, it's a tight track, and then obviously yeah. these bigger boats, you know, they do struggle on the, these tight courses. Um, but yeah, you proved there today, well, just, just right five minutes ago that um, that's not going to be a problem this weekend. Yeah, look, this boat does look in pretty hard, um, you know, so, yeah, look, you know, I feel beforehand I didn't really have any control out of the corners, you know, the, the engine and the, the way it come on, it was just all, you know, come on, don't don't leap, don't leap, leap, don't leap, don't leap, you know, and looking at the data, it just take me like three and a half seconds to get the full throttle, yeah. well now, not every corner, but now um, I can get within a second I'm on the flat out, you know, so I can straighten it up within a second I'm on the flat out, and that's where it's going to make a big difference. 
Well, mate, congratulations on the racing today, and like I said, uh, congratulations to you and your team and your perseverance. Because, like I said, when, when people do get to see this uh, the race on on uh, Facebook, they're going to see exactly what we're talking about. And yeah. mate, uh, great, and that just sets you up for the for some great racing for tomorrow as well. Because uh, yeah. you've just proven that you're right up there. So uh, well done, mate. Good Thanks luck for much. tomorrow, and uh, mate, great yeah. effort. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks mate.